Subtopic 1.2 Collision Theory and Transition State Theory At the end of this, students should be able to Explain the collision theory Define activation energy Explain the transition state theory Draw the energy profile diagram of a reaction The collision theory the collision theory is the first theory proposed to explain the rate of chemical reaction involving gaseous reactants. According to the collision theory model, chemical reaction occur as a result of collision between reacting molecules. However, not all collision result in chemical reaction. When the number of collision per second is compared with the rate of reaction, only a small fraction of the collision that occur will result in a reaction. From the video just now, the requirement for the effective chemicals reaction to take place. Reacting molecules must collide with each other in correct orientation to give products. Colliding molecule must possess a total kinetic energy equal or greater than the activation energy. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy that must be possessed by the reacting molecules to initiate a chemical reaction. Collision that produce a chemical reaction are called effective collision. According to the collision theory, to increase the rate of reaction, the reaction therefore needs more frequent collision. Frequency of collision can be increased by Increasing the speed of reacting particles, for example, by increasing the energy of the reacting particles, having more reacting particles present, and lowering the activation energy of the reaction. Now, let us look at the transition state theory. The transition state theory is used to explain in detail what happens when reactant molecules come together in a collision. A collision between reactant molecules may or may not result in a successful reaction. As reacting molecules approach each other, they form an activated complex, which is a transition state with a maximum potential energy. Activated complex is an unstable, short-life species where combination of reactant molecules with partially broken and partially formed bonds. Showing in the equation below, the formation of the activated complex is reversible process. It can either form product or fall apart to return to the unchanged reactant depending on the amount of energy they possess. The energy difference between the reactant and the maximum potential energy is referred to as the activation energy. Now, we look for the energy profile diagram and activation energy. For exothermic reaction, reaction between A and B produce C and D. In order to draw the energy profile diagram, on your y-axis will be the energy, in your x-axis will be the reaction progress. We start to draw with the reactant A and B, have the higher energy than C and D which is the product. The difference between the energy of reactant and the energy of the product called as delta H or enthalpy change or heat of reaction. Also, we have in the energy profile diagram is the activated complex which is the transition state with maximum potential energy. The difference between the reactant and maximum potential energy is referred to activation energy, label EA. The activated complex can either form the product or fall apart to return to unchanged reactant depending on the amount of energy they possess. If enough energy supply, it will form the product. The difference between the energy of the product and the maximum potential energy is the activation energy for the reverse reaction. 
Now, for the endothermic reaction, consider A plus P will produce C and D. On the y-axis, energy. On the x-axis will be the reaction progress. The energy for reactant lower than the energy for the product. And the difference between the energy of the reactant with the energy of product labeled as delta H. And the energy difference between the reactant and maximum potential energy labeled as activation energy Ea. And the difference between the energy of the product with the maximum potential energy labeled as activation energy Ea for reverse reaction. Thank you for watching. See you for the next subtopic.